Violent arguments, infidelity, a murder conviction. Through it all, Aaron Hernandez's fiance stayed loyal to the bitter end. Aaron Hernandez and Shayana Jenkins Hernandez may have had a challenging relationship from the beginning. According to the Daily Mail, the two started dating when they were only in middle school, and their problems began once Hernandez got popular for playing sports. During Hernandez's trial, Jenkins Hernandez recalled, "...there were a lot of girls trying to get his attention. We had some issues we had to work through throughout high school. However, the two managed to stay in touch when Hernandez went away to college in Florida, and she eventually relocated with him when he got signed to the New England Patriots." While the couple went on to get engaged and welcome a daughter, AVL, in 2012, their relationship reportedly could be volatile. According to TMZ, Jenkins Hernandez called the police on Hernandez in 2013, after he punched a window during an argument, and neighbors reported other domestic disturbances as well. Yet, Jenkins Hernandez was seemingly willing to do anything to make it work. She said of their relationship, "...I made a decision that if I was going to move back in with Aaron, I was going to have to kind of compromise on his behavior, and that included infidelity and everything that came along with it." Local affiliate NECN reported that one of those infidelities was even with their child's babysitter. Although Aaron Hernandez was found guilty of murder, Shayana Jenkins Hernandez believes he was wrongfully convicted. In 2015, Hernandez was sentenced to life in prison for the murder of Odin Lloyd, which was something Jenkins Hernandez said she didn't see coming. She told Dr. Phil in 2017 that it was a shock. We were definitely leaning more towards an innocent verdict. Jenkins Hernandez stated she believes Hernandez did not have a hand in the crime whatsoever, adding, "...he may have been at the wrong place, wrong time, but I don't think what is said to be out there is actually accurate." Jenkins Hernandez also had to deal with her own legal issues at the time, since she was charged with perjury in the same murder investigation. While she may have wanted to initially protect her fiancé by not revealing too much, her charges were eventually dropped when she finally cooperated with his trial. Years after Hernandez's death, Jenkins Hernandez has continued to defend him. When asked on Good Morning America in 2020 if she thought he was innocent, she replied that she did. Yes, I, of course I do. I'd be a cold person to leave someone that had nobody at all. Shayana Jenkins Hernandez faced more hardship when Aaron Hernandez died by suicide in prison. She told Dr. Phil, "...at first, I thought it was a hoax. I thought this was some cruel person playing a trick on me. His death left her in shock." especially since she had just talked to him on the phone the night before, and as far as she was concerned, nothing seemed amiss. In fact, Jenkins Hernandez felt that nothing about Hernandez's suicide made sense, which apparently made her question everything she was told by prison officials. She explained on Dr. Phil, "...I don't think this was a suicide knowing him. I felt like we were looking so bright. We were going up a ladder to a positive direction." "...I want answers." Because of that, Jenkins Hernandez said she wanted to do her own investigation into Hernandez's death and felt more could have been done to save him, adding, "...none of it is very believable to me, not the findings, not the investigations." It was obviously hard for Shayana Jenkins Hernandez to lose Aaron Hernandez, and finding out after his death that he may have had a secret life must have only added to the hurt. According to reports, Hernandez may have been romantically involved with other men since middle school. A former schoolmate, Dennis Ansucci, made those claims in the 2020 documentary, Killer Inside, The Mind of Aaron Hernandez, saying, "...we had shared some sexual activity together, but we didn't want anyone to know." After the doc was released, Hernandez's brother, Jonathan Hernandez, said on Dr. Oz that the football player came out to their mom the day before he died. An inmate named Kyle Kennedy also said he was involved with Hernandez. Kennedy said in Aaron Hernandez, jailhouse lover tells all, "...he used to tell me he wanted to marry me." That had to be difficult for Jenkins Hernandez to hear, not only because of the cheating, but because, as she said on Good Morning America, "...if he did feel that way, I would not have loved him any differently. Although I have a child with Aaron, I still can't tell you how he was feeling inside." No one can. Aaron Hernandez's murder trial took a toll on Jenkins Hernandez's relationship with her sister, Shania Jenkins. Hernandez was found guilty of murdering semi-pro football player Odin Lloyd, who was Jenkins' boyfriend. Before that, the sisters had been close growing up, according to the Associated Press. Even when Jenkins began dating Lloyd in 2012, she would stay at her sister's home when she visited him in Massachusetts. When there, Jenkins told the court that she and Jenkins Hernandez would do things just the two of them, while Hernandez and Lloyd hung out at home, and that they occasionally went out altogether. The sister's relationship completely changed, though, when Jenkins Hernandez chose to support her fiancé over her sister. When Jenkins Hernandez took the stand, she confirmed that their relationship had deteriorated. I mean, we've… strange, kind of. 
While Shayana Jenkins Hernandez was devastated over Aaron Hernandez's life sentence and subsequent suicide, she had to be strong for their daughter AVL. However, AVL was too young to understand what prison was, having only been born in 2012. Hernandez was arrested in 2013 and sentenced in 2015. It was her normal, um, so she knew no different. Perhaps because of that, Jenkins Hernandez decided against explaining Hernandez's incarceration to AVL, saying, I won't tell her until she decides to ask or if she asks. She thought daddy was at work. Yet Jenkins Hernandez did feel that it was important for her daughter to understand that her father had died, so she could have closure. She said on Dr. Phil, I allowed her to view her father's body in private, just us, and say our last goodbye. I didn't want her to grow up and think that she couldn't say goodbye. Once AVL was able to grasp that, they dealt with her emotions, Jenkins said, adding, Some days she's sad, some days she cries, and I hold her and make sure she's okay. While Hernandez left a note for AVL, Jenkins Hernandez didn't seem to think it helped, telling Dr. Phil, But as far as the content, very vague very short. However, she'll help AVL remember her dad in a positive light. She said on Good Morning America, I would describe her father as a loving individual who obviously loved her. In 2020, Shayana Jenkins Hernandez's painful past was revisited when Netflix released its docuseries on her fiancé. While Jenkins Hernandez didn't want to be a part of the project, she ended up having to still deal with it since it brought her family back into the spotlight. She explained on Good Morning America that she wanted to leave it in the past for the sake of her daughter. Yet, personal things about Jenkins Hernandez's family were featured, including phone calls between Hernandez and AVL. Jenkins Hernandez said those calls were difficult to hear. Those are things as a mother you want to keep to yourself. Because of that, Jenkins Hernandez reportedly felt that the whole thing had just caused more heartache. The docuseries also led to Jenkins Hernandez being criticized online for how she acted during the trial and on their private prison phone calls. Although Jenkins Hernandez said she received some sympathetic messages, she ended up taking a break from social media in 2020. She explained in a post, I have tried to read every message sent on IG and through email, positive and negative. The amount of support and positive energy is again unreal. I'm sure you will all understand how imperative it is to take some time away from social media. Jenkins Hernandez moved on with another man after Aaron Hernandez's 2017 death and by 2018 was expecting a baby. While Jenkins Hernandez didn't include the father in the pregnancy announcement she wrote on Instagram, Radar later reported his identity as amateur boxer and bar owner Dino Gilmet, whom she reportedly met on Long Island. While starting a family with Gilmet seemed like a fresh start for Jenkins Hernandez, Gilmet has a criminal record. According to the Daily Mail, Gilmet not only pled guilty to felony assault with a dangerous weapon when he was 18 years old, but he was charged with assault and resisting arrest in 2005. That same year, he also filed for bankruptcy for the first time, before doing so again in 2014. Gilmet seemingly had a bad reputation in his home state of Rhode Island. In fact, another amateur boxer once told WPRI, "...he's just a bully around town, big tough guy." However, you could say that Jenkins Hernandez has a fraught past too, which Gilmet was apparently willing to look past. He told Radar, "...I didn't care one bit. There are a lot of ugly comments out there. I don't listen to them." Shayana Jenkins Hernandez continues to grapple with the pain of missing her late fiancé. Although years have passed since they were together, Jenkins Hernandez has indicated on her Instagram that her feelings for him haven't changed. Jenkins Hernandez's feelings for her late fiancé even made headlines in 2021 after she posted a tribute to him on the fourth anniversary of his death. It was clear that she was still in mourning. She wrote, "...the loss hasn't gotten any easier. I still hurt. I still cry. I still wonder why. AVL and I continue to talk about you and keep your presence alive." While their relationship is shrouded in tragedy and pain, Jenkins Hernandez continues to have love in her heart for Hernandez. If you or someone you know is dealing with domestic abuse, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. You can also find more information, resources, and support at their website.